You know, I spoke to the boss. I texted him and said, uh, stupidly got myself to the last four. And he just texted me back, awesome. I'm in. I'm in. We picked him out of thousands of people who across the country who, who registered to uh, become part of our team. And I can tell you, he is one brilliant bloke. You know, I've known him for probably 10 years now. And in that decade, I've competed against some of the greatest athletes on the planet. Very few of them have showed the knowledge to get the best out of themselves and the determination to win that Ed showed in training and in competition when he was competing. His achievements by walking to the South Pole with two other characters who are infinitely better known is the stuff of dreams. I think it makes every man and woman want to think that they could do more with their lives. He's certainly inspiring, that's for sure. It's a compelling presentation and a powerful one at that. I certainly learned a lot about teams, how teams function, how um, you can work towards a project, work towards a goal and focus on that. And um, it's important to understand your own strengths and weaknesses within a team. Ed's presentation style is very from the heart, it's very grounded and I think is a, a fantastic counterpoint to the subject matter. So we're going to do now? I think we should keep going until 30, well maybe 37, 40k if you can do it and then get into our sleeping bags. I'm afraid we're at minus 40, I've got cold hands and I've got to speak my mind because I want to look after you both, both you guys. I'm not, here to, I'm not here to just try and get into a tent for an early night. I'm trying to make sure that we don't kill ourselves in the next six days. He was our third teammate along with Ben Fogel when we went to Antarctica and he came out of a, a big public search, took the gamble of taking six months off work and totally committed himself to the task. I did say to James shortly after being selected, what, what on earth were you thinking? Why, why would you take a doctor? We said, you're a doctor, it's brilliant. I said, you do realise uh, what I specialise in. He said, yeah, that's fine, Ben's a big girl. <laughs> We've got six days to go, probably 250 kilometres to ski. You've still got a long way to go on those feet, mate. And I really think you need to look after them. Well, not a disappointment at all, not one bit. It was in vision, before it was in my mind, but actually in front of us was the final destination. What we've done out here for me, to come here and have all those fears, apprehensions, expectations, and be thrown into a race, like we have done and come through and come second, it's phenomenal. I don't think you can do anything like this and not go away from it, a changed person. I make the most of life, because life is short.